guys, this is Tara with Kittens, Weights, and Tarot, and today I'm bringing you a review of the Medicine Woman Tarot deck by Carol Bridges. Um, so I've had this deck for quite a while, but I, you know, I'm slowly but surely making my way through my collection so that um, I can post all this beautiful artwork for you guys here on YouTube. Um, so my intention is not to have people go out and buy, buy, buy more decks, but more because I appreciate all the different types of artwork there are. Um, and especially in tarot cards, there's 78 different pieces of beautiful art. Um, and I just want to share it with you guys. I just want to put it out there so that, um, you know, your eyeballs can have a little bit of a uh, viewing pleasure. So it's a little late, uh, so I'm actually using some of my lighting to do this review. Um, so here's, it's your just regular little, little tuck box. And um, this is put on by US Games, or created by US Games, I should say. And here's the side. And the top. Okay, so let's go ahead and open her up. Okay, so like I said, just your your standard box. So we'll put off that off to the side. We'll put our cards to the side for now. Um, so it came with these uh, two extra cards and. The first one, welcome energies of earth, air, fire, and water. Let us create a life of beauty, reverence, and wonder. With each season, let us rejoice through every phase of sun and moon. Let us be in harmony. In every direction shall we offer our love. Let the reading begin. So that's rather sweet. I love that. Um, just a little mantra or, or you know, some uh, space clearing, um, energetic words to give uh, before you start a reading. Okay, then we have Great Spirit, Mother Creator, bless the earth through my life, source of all nourishment. We seek to replenish your sacred world. Guide us now through these images, words, and feelings within as we reach into the wholeness. Let all that is needed be known. Okay, and then we have our the backs of our cards. And let me get in nice and tight for you guys. Okay, so this does have um, a very glossy, almost plasticky finish to it. Um, the cards are flexible, but not thin and not too thick. So I would say, uh, perfect. And they are your, um, a somewhat standard, uh, tarot card size. Okay. So putting those two down, uh, we have our little booklet, our little white book, uh, published in 1989. Um, okay, so it just goes into a little bit of an introduction, and I was like, um, you know, taking a gander, and it does talk about why, uh, the creator decided to call it the medicine woman. Um, she says not to exclude, uh, men or the masculine, but she feels that, uh, we've been in an era, and this is 1989, uh, in an era for quite some time of patriarchy. And a very um, masculine and so she felt that the the scales were unbalanced and by creating this medicine woman deck it's hopefully uh, gonna bring in some of that fen feminine uh, energy and uh, bringing more of the matriarchal uh, energy so that we can maybe re rebalance the scales because we, we need both feminine and masculine um, you know and that's not always male or female they're just types of energy um, so she kind of talks a little bit about that as she talks about how she changed um, some of the meanings of the cards. I mean, you still have your major arcana, but she has a slightly different meaning for them. And the same with the, um, the minors. Okay, and then she has um, some spreads. So you have your suit of stones, pipes arrows and bowls. Okay, so it, it's actually, it would behoove you to look at this because um, a lot of the, the major arcana names have been changed, like uh, the grandfather, the grandmother, rebirth, discernment, dancer, things like that. Okay, and oh, and here's the back. Okay, so let's take a look at these cards. Okay, so I'm just gonna 
go through each one. I love the coloring. I love the softness of it. I love, <laughs> and to me, it doesn't even feel 80s, but um, so it has a slightly, um, I would say, native feel to it. It's not meant to depict any particular type of native culture, but more as if, um, if we were, um, you know, if that's how the world was now, it's kind of like a, um, a utopia. If we were all, you know, one with the earth, if we were all, um, you know, just living a lifestyle where we're trying to care for each other, we're trying to care for the earth, um, and kind of uh, bringing in some of that native feel to it. So, uh, more like an Islander feel, um, the Americas, um, yeah. So I find it to be fantastic. And this gives great readings. I have used this with clients. I have used it for shadow work. I've used it for um, lighthearted readings. To me, it reads great for everything. Um, uh, it's a very personal deck for me, uh, even though I do use it with clients, but sometimes, you know, it knows when I need some tough love and it knows when, um, knows when to back off. So it definitely has a personality. kind of all throughout. And so you notice the um, um, the court cards have changed. I'm just like, hmm, I'm gonna have to hurry up with this video because I have some questions I would like to use with this deck. <laughs> Um, like as soon as you hold it in your hands, you're like, I can't let it go. This is definitely what I mean. <laughs> it, it's a favorite deck, but I say that about all my decks, um, because they all, they all have their special place in my heart. Sorry, I'm just uh, readjusting. You know, each one of my decks is very special to me. Um, I use each and every one of my decks. I don't always use them for clients, but I definitely use them for myself. Um... And I enjoy all the artwork, and when a deck doesn't resonate with it, me anymore, I, I sell it or, or I trade it. You know, I try not to hold on to things that don't bring me joy, you know? So if you don't already have this deck, this is a, a fun deck to get to know. I love that Nine of Bowls. Exemplar of Stones. And getting down to the last couple of cards. And Nurturing Lodge of the Bulls. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just um, give these a shuffle for you guys and then lay them out just so you can see aesthetically what that might look like. Okay, so just making sure these are all right side up because sometimes they get all slippery. Um, okay, and I don't read reversals, but that doesn't mean I don't read the reversed um, meaning. You know, it's usually just based off my intuition. I'm not asking a question right now. I'm just like, aesthetic purposes, what would that look like? Three cards, let's bam it down. So we got bam, we got one, we got two, and we got three. Okay, so that's how it would essentially look in a reading, all side by side, all those beautiful images. I'm going to put this right up there. So yeah, um, let me know if you guys have any questions about this deck. Um, if you have this deck and you want to make any comments, feel free to do so. And yeah, um... If you would like to catch a reading with me, know that you can go hit that information box down below where there is a link to my website, my Etsy shop, um, my email address is down there as well. Um, yeah, and if you uh, want me to use this deck in particular for your reading, just let me know upon booking. Alright, so that's it from me, Spiritual Homies. 
if you dug this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to click subscribe. Don't forget to click that notification bell, and I will catch you spiritual homies later. All right, peace, love, and chicken grease. Peace out.